Hello everyone! How are you? It's Kay. I hope you have a great day today. So, uh, this is a video where I talk about my own strategy. And this today's video is part 2. So I hope you enjoy the video until the end. So let me switch screen first. And um, so a couple of announcements. Uh, first is the theme in August 2022 is overview of Kay's trading strategy which I will be doing today. This is part two. And today I will talk about the overview of my own strategy, like how I, how I see charts and how I screen charts and how I entry and exit. I will talk about the overview of uh, my strategy today on this video. And uh, theme in Saturdays, I talk about trade psychology. So because markets are closed, so in Saturdays, I talk about psychology or the risk management, money management topics. So, yeah, so let's uh, start today's video. So before starting, a quick disclaimer um, is uh, basically the things I talk about uh, on my YouTube channel is all based on my own ex experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And recently, there are so many like fake accounts and spams on social media, so please be careful. Uh, I don't do Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, and I don't send direct messages to anyone through the social media. So please be careful. So in case you wanna, uh, you want to uh, reach me out, uh, the best way to contact me by email. Uh, so you can find the below description the contact email address. So please uh, use the address and send me emails or any inquiries. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so this video is about my trading strategy and I have the slide over here. So let's just schedule. Um, on the 5th of August, I talk about why trend analysis is important and today's video about this overview of my strategy. I name my strategy as K's trading strategy, which is KTS. So whenever you hear me say KTS, that means it's my own strategy. So as you may know already, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in multiple time frames. And uh, I'm a Forex trader. Mainly I trade Forex. And when there's a trend, I trade gold. I trade uh, WTI. But mainly I focus in Forex. In Forex markets, the markets moving up and down every day, every, day, every week. So in this reason, I follow, I take the daily time frame and 4 hour time frame as higher time frame. And you get the confirmation in 1 hour or 30 minute chart. And then get entry timing in the 5 minute or the 15. Usually I use the 5 minute. But um, that's my overview of my strategy. So the steps I take is again like this. Oh, by the way, you can find this PDF on my, uh, on my website. I put the link below the description also, where you can download this uh, PDF. It's for free. You can just get, get this download and uh, get my get understanding of my strategy. So, so first, I identify a major trend, either in, on daily or the 4-hour time frame. So let me check uh, today's market. Uh, I will let the trading view hold on okay so this is a trading view and uh let me see first i will check the daily of four so usually when i screen charts i split the window into two and on the left i place a daily time frame and on the right i place a four hour so like this i place daily time frame and a four hour time frame and see whether one of these time frames is trending. Hold on, let me try to fit this into page so that you can see the whole thing. Yeah, sorry about that. So um, yeah, again, on the left, this is a daily time frame. On the daily time frame, at a glance, this is range because Kumo flat, Chikou span touching. And in the four hour, at a glance, this is ranging too because Kumo flat, Kumo technically is up, but overall Kumo has been flat. And Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span is very close and it has been ranging, obviously. So when I see the range on both daily and 4 hour time frames, 
I simply stay away and go to another pair. So like this, I screen my pairs on my watch list. I have uh, 21 pairs, 21 pairs on my watch list. I screen in this manner. So first, so let me go to the next slide. So first, I check the major trend, either daily or the four hour. So this is actually important. I don't take both time frames to be trending uh, because it's uh, it's almost uh, you know um, rare to find both daily and four hour time frames are trending at the same time. So I take either either daily or the four hour. So let's say if daily is bullish. I mean, uh, there is a good example today. Uh, either uh, daily or the four hour chart trending. And I mark here pound Swiss franc. If you look at the pound Swiss franc, uh, this was down in the daily, sorry. This is now becoming a bit flat, but uh, you can see that the Kumo single span A is down, B is down also. I'm talking about the Kumo single span A, B down, and the Kijun Sen down. Chikou span was below candles. So when I saw that, it was downtrend because of the breakout. So this is daily time frame downtrend. But if you look at the four hour chart, this is now flat. You see, more flat, Kijun Sen flat. Um, so in this case, I take the daily, but not the four hour. So that's what I do first when I screen charts. So that's this slide. So in the in that example, I take the daily. Daily was sorry, daily was down on that example. But four hour was flat. So I take the daily and move move on to the mid time frame. One hour or the 30. Like this, I step by step um, um, identify the trending market in directions. So, yeah, like that. Oh, hold on, let me. Um, okay, like this, you can see the whole thing, whole slide. So, so again, I take the daily or four. So let's say if daily is flat and four hours down, then I take the four hour time frame and then go down to either one or 30. Let's say if one is down, 30 is flat, then I take the one hour and then look for entry timing on either five or 15 minute time frames. If I get the fifth, five minute time frame confirmation, then I enter there based on the five minute. So this is basically how I analyze charts and take trades. So again, it's either I get this question many times. So just a reminder. So let's say if daily is up four hours, uh, sorry, daily is up and four hours flat. Then I take the daily time frame to follow and then get the confirmation on either one or 30. Let's say one is flat and 30 is up. I take 30 and then look for entry timing on M5 or M5, 15. Usually I take M5 because M5, if I take the M5, that means I have, uh, usually I have um, smaller stop loss in pips than M15. So I start looking at M5 and usually I get the three confirmations on M5. So I take the M5 to trade. So that's my overview of the strategy. So there is another good example today on the Swiss franc JPY. So let me just uh, move it to here. Swiss franc JPY. Um, if you look at this market, well, I will actually talk about this one on, uh, on this Friday when I cover this, uh, when I cover the entry timing, which is uh, yeah, 12th August Friday topic. But uh, yeah, just to give you an overview today. So in this case, daily is flat and four hours up. So I take the four hour. So I tick mark on the four hour and then move down to H1 or M30. Let me move down. So I put uh, one hour on the on the left and 30 on the right. Let's see which one of these time frames is trending. And right now, 
I can see that at a glance, they are all flat and retracing. So I don't take. I don't take 1 or 30 right now. Because they are all flat. Kumo uh, single span, I think A is up on a 1 hour. But now Kijun Sen is flat. And the market is retracing for the last 2 hours so far. And M30 also shows Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the market retracing. So I don't take it. In this case, I wait until Kumo moves up and Kijunsen moves up, points up on either M30 or 1 hour. And then start to look for the buying edge. So right now, they are all, they are both time frames are flat, so I skip. And simply when I skip, I leave chart for a couple of next hours. And how to identify and how to confirm these uh, trends by Ichimoku, I talk about on Friday and also uh, next week, Tuesday on the videos. So please look forward to it. But uh, that's how I get these uh, entry confirmation from screening charts down to the entry confirmation. And it doesn't really take long, actually. I have 21 pairs on my watch list. But uh, when I screen charts from top to down, it only takes like a few minutes, maybe uh, two or three minutes. So it's really uh, time efficient. As I mentioned on the previous video uh, last Friday, uh, time efficiency is a key to success, I think, for trades. Because uh, you can check charts for hours. You can check, for, check charts for hours or minutes. But if there is no trends, if there is no good setups, you have to leave. But uh, then, when you leave, and uh, when you are not there in the markets, the market may be active and it just goes up. And then you might feel the formal. But uh, yeah, but uh, it's uh, for me, there is no formal, even if I miss a chance. So let's say in, uh, one hour is flat and 30 is flat on this Swiss franc JPY, but four hours up. So let's say right now 1 or 30, it's flat, so I skip and I leave chart for maybe a couple of hours, maybe uh, uh, 2 hours to 4 hours, I leave chart and come back. And by the time I come back, the market may go up this way and I might be losing all these pips while it moves up. But uh, it's okay because if it goes up, that means that this uptrend may be continuous. So... Um, Whenever I come back, and when I see the good setup on higher to lower time frames, I simply take it. And from there, I follow the trends. And I do this three times per day on these screening charts. And if I don't see any um, trending market and uh, confirmations on all, any other markets on my watch list, then simply I stay away and I don't take trades on that day. So after I develop, develop this uh, method or strategy, my emotion became much, much easier. Because before, I was constantly looking for the entry timing. And I was always looking for the opportunity to trade. Because I thought that the job as a trader. But uh, now I realize, realize that uh, you know, uh, not to take trades is also important. I mean, um, our job is to trade, of course, to make profits. But at the same time, we have to stay away to avoid some unnecessary losses. And I think avoiding markets is, I think, more important than entries. And so when I realized this uh, concept or this uh, secret, so to speak, my emotion gets so much easier. So even if I miss a chance, um, it's okay for me because my system says it's no to trade and I don't take trades. And maybe sometimes, you know, the market just goes backwards against major direction. And I feel so relieved that I didn't take the trade and didn't get the loss. So um, like I mentioned on the previous video, these strategies should be rigid and it should be verified uh, on, based on backtesting. 
So I have been backtesting all these 21 pairs on my watch list at least 100 times in the tester, in the Forex tester. I picked a random chart, random timing on the previous market, on the past market, on all these pairs and simply take 100 trades based on this concept and I get above profit factor 5. And that's why I start to use on the live markets and it becomes successful. So it's proved actually by myself, but um, again, I don't recommend you to believe myself. You have to see if it works on yourself also. So with this concept in mind, uh, please continue to practice uh, based, on my, uh, based on my strategy. And uh, also you have to see yourself that it works and then it works for you. But uh, just because I say this, you know, don't blindly believe uh, because uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, uh, decide which one to get, which one not to get based on our own experience. But so at least for me, it works. And that's why I have been using this strategy for the last six years and I will keep using my strategy from now on. Um, yeah, so in this multiple time frames, I was using it before I create this strategy actually. So I was pretty familiar with the multiple time frame analysis. Back then, before six years ago, um, I didn't use, I wasn't using Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. I was using some other tools and indicators. And even after I created this framework, uh, I was still using moving averages. I was using three moving averages and uh, doing multiple time frame analysis like this and uh, created my own strategy. But I figured Ichimoku works much better than moving averages uh, and to fit my strategy. And that's why I completely shifted myself to use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo from daily to down to 30 minute chart and then get the entry timing on M5 or M15. So I think uh, as I mentioned on the previous video, I'm a trend follower. So basically, I, I only take trades when there is a trend. And when, when there is no trends, then I simply stay away. So that's also something uh, confident on myself uh, in this trading style. So um, yeah, so I'm not an active trader. I'm not actively uh, trading every day. But uh, the number of trades in average per monthly is uh, 7 or 8. If I take like uh, 15, 15 trades per month, and that's very, very, uh, a lot of, lots of, uh, that's a big number of trades. For me, I take uh, 7 or 8 trades per week, and then get the return of 10% in average uh, every month. So, um, I realize that less is more. Before, I thought more is more, but now I realize less is more. So don't simply randomly trade. Just because the market's near resistance, simply don't sell because it may break and goes up. Just because the market is supported, never buy, uh, is my also um, lesson, big lesson in, in the previous career. So now I'm a trend follower. I only trade when there is a trend in the market and whether when there is no trend then I will simply stay away. So and I will on the next video I will talk about exactly how I use Ichimoku five lines to identify which one is trending ranging. But uh, yeah for today it's an overview of my strategy. So I screen charts like this and at a glance, I know which one is trending, ranging. It's very simple, but very powerful. So the strategies should be very simple too. I think that's also important. I used to use many indicators. I was putting like five or six indicators on, on the chart. And uh, I was using, like I was looking, referring to 
all these signals and indicators. But now I only use Ichimoku for higher time frames. For lower time frames in M5, M15, I only use the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics as indicators. And I use some tools like Line, uh, Fibonacci, Fibonacci Bounds, Fibonacci Levels, and also um, Tokyo Box I use. But mainly, I use uh, Bollinger Bands and Stochastics and Lines and Price Actions in Fibonacci. So, uh, lower time frames might be a bit complex to look for uh, entry confirmations, but uh, for higher time frames, it's really simple. It's really simple, but you can avoid the, um, the non-trending markets. So I think I found another uh, good example for this Euro Swiss franc. Currently, for me, daily is down, but 4 hours flat, so I take the daily to follow. And as long as daily is down as per Ichimoku, then uh, my projection is the market breaks the support and goes down. So even before the market breaks support, if if there is a if there are entry confirmations, I take it and expect the market breaks the support. Because once it breaks, it goes really fast because it takes all these stop losses below that doji, below 0 0.9698. So I I prefer to get entry before the break and expect that break to happen. So that's also um well, I learned uh, based on my own strategy. Before, I was waiting for the break to happen and then sell. But uh, and then the market reverse. Sometimes it happens. So and and also I was waiting for the market reverse. Like uh, after the breakout, I was waiting for the market reverse, and hopefully I was going to sell like this. But the market just goes and goes and along the way this way, and then retraces a little bit. And then continuously goes down. This happens a lot of times also. Uh, the market does not always bounce, uh, does not always retrace to the previous support after the breakout. This uh, rever reverse end wave below support happens also. So that's why I get the entry before the break. And simply, if the market goes back this way, support it and goes up back. I will simply exit with a very small loss, uh, less than 1% loss, so I will be safe. Anyways, so whenever I enter the trace, I do also take uh, into risk management into my trace. So basically, whenever I buy or sell, I will be safe in the long run. So I will talk about that also in the future video series. But uh, yeah, today, I just wanted to uh, uh, present my strategy uh, overview on the bigger picture. So, yeah, looks like in the month of August, this is the 9th of August, but uh, still the markets are a bit uh, spiky or are retracing. So for me, I think I will continue to stay away today. Okay, so that's the overview of my strategy. So hopefully uh, you get the idea more uh, by combining with the previous video, which I posted on Friday. And uh, you get the idea of my strategy so that uh, the things I say will more make more sense to you in future live streams and videos on my YouTube channel. So... Um, in Friday, 12th August, I will talk about how to identify a trending market. So mainly I will talk about our screen charts in either daily, in the 4 hour, and how to identify a trending market uh, on, the, on the Forex pairs. So hopefully you will enjoy this video on Friday. And also uh, I teach this strategy, my own strategy at the GTS class. So you can actually uh, come to my web page and click on the GTS link of, to access to the GTS website and you can find the page like this. So in this page, I not only uh, explain about 
what I offer in the GTS, but also you can find more videos like uh, the interviews of the graduates of the GTS. I think uh, you maybe find interesting. Maybe you will find someone from your own country, your own region. So you can click on that video and enjoy our conversation. Um, and also you will see my performance every month. Uh, from this year, I started to post, started to uh, explain my entries and exits on the live live stream. So uh, you can see my videos like this every month. And then uh, also, if you also scroll down, you will see my live trades in private live stream in the past. So you can also refer to view my entries, exits, how I take trades like this. These are some sample trades I posted. So you can also view these and enjoy the videos. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, I will end the video for now. But again, thank you for watching until the end. And uh, if you liked it, please press the like button. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye from everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.